I'm Sarah Diamond. Officers spent a third day in the Beach Creek community searching for summer wells, but no significant results. An Amber Alert to find the missing six year old from Hawkins County remains active. And we're hearing more about what happened the day uh, from her about that day from her grandmother. Here's the Ansley Daniel. Josh and Sarah, as officers spent a, another day in a Beach Creek searching for summer, I was out there yesterday and spent some time at the Wells family home on Ben Hill Road. Now, that's where summer was reported missing from on June the 15th. I actually had the chance to speak with the missing girl's mother, Candace Bly, who again did not want to speak on camera with us, but I did have the opportunity to sit down with her grandmother, Candace Hare, who told me she wants people to hear about her family straight from the source. That's why. I come on camera because I am sick and tired of the lies. Missing Hawkins County six year old Summer Wells grandmother Candace Hare says it was hard to speak on camera as she's been reliving a familiar nightmare. Rose has been missing for 12 years. I miss her dearly. She's the baby of the family. Hare's youngest daughter and Summer's aunt, Rosemarie Bly, went missing from Wisconsin on August 21st of 2009. To go through it again with my granddaughter, Summer is very heartbreaking and that's what a lot of people don't understand is what a parent goes through what a grandmother goes through it's the not knowing is what tears us up it's the not knowing back in november her granddaughter's case received national attention on a two-part dr phil episode which is why Hare thinks her daughter Candace Bly has continued to shy away from the media. I think it had to do a lot with Dr. Phil. The way it came out on Dr. Phil when she was out there. I was not out there. I think it hurt Candace in a way. I don't know if it's helped or not. I don't believe it has. Maybe it's gotten more attention out everywhere on them. On June 15th, the day Summer was reported missing, Harris says she spent the entire day with her daughter and granddaughter. She says it started with a trip to the emergency room to have her knee checked out. They prescribed me medication to take to get the swelling down out of my knee and around my knee because it was inflamed. And then we waited around for my prescription. Summer went swimming that day at the horse stables, I believe it was. After the family returned home with groceries, Hare says she took a nap, woke up and repotted cactus plants with her granddaughter. She says Summer ate a peppermint, went inside the house to play with her brothers, and that was the last time she was seen. There was no sign of her. Authorities say all possibilities of what happened to Summer are still on the table. But like the rest of the Wells family, Summer's grandmother believes she was abducted. We never did find her. She called 911 and she called Donnie and we sent the boys down over the hill and I stood in front of their, over by the edge there and watched them. And, and was praying to God every minute that nobody would take them. For more than a decade, Hare has said the same prayer. I hope and I pray to God every day. Over the last almost nine months, along with her daughter Rose, her granddaughter Summer has now been added to her plea. That she's found and found alive. We have more of that first time interview along with a statement from Summer's mother, Candace Bly, and the interview with Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson that prompted it all right now on our website, WJHL.com.